Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing a brand new 3D pen project. Today we're going to make Ladybug's mask. I printed out a copy of her mask from the internet and I cut it out. So here we have her mask and what we're going to do is we're going to place it over this little ball here and tape it down. This way the mask will be a little bit curved and it'll fit our face. Down. It doesn't have to be very tight. There we go. And then let's get our 3D pen ready. Switch on. Now the pen is heating up. Getting complete. But heat in the pen nozzle. <laughs> so now we're ready. Loading filament. <laughs> I like how it talks. The red is done, so we're going to switch over to the black. Loading filament. So we are done, so let's go ahead and take this mask off and see what it looks like. Alright, so here it is. Look at my mask. Doesn't it look cool? So it is a little bit rounded so that it will fit around your face. I just love the way it turned out. This was such an easy project. So from the front it looks like this. We have our ladybug mask with the little dots. And on the back here you can see that uh, it's pretty flat so it's pretty comfy to wear. There's a little bit of paper that was left behind. If you really want to get rid of the paper you can easily just wash this because this is made of plastic. So if you wash it the paper will come off and then you have a very clean looking mask. And it is quite smooth. I tried it on. It feels pretty comfortable and it fits really well on my face actually. Alright everyone, so this was a really fun and easy project. I made this in about uh, 15 minutes um, from start to finish and it looks really really cool. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my mask and also of this cute little 3D pen. It looks just like Evie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it is ready to go again. So make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing another 3D pen project. So the other day I made a Miraculous Ladybug mask for Ladybug here. And it was so much fun that I thought maybe today we can make a mask for Rena Rouge. So I have my 3D pen. 
we have some orange, white, and black filaments, and we also have a template here of Rina Rouge's mask made out of paper. So I've taped it over the sphere here so that it will give this mask a nice rounded edge that we can put over our face. Alright, let's get started! Alright everyone, and we are done. Just take a look at this. Isn't it pretty? So let's take this off, our little holder here. Let's peel the template off the back. Alright everyone, so we are done. And take a look at Rina Rouge's mask. I think it came out really, really nice. So the ball that we built this on is round, so this way it'll fit around the face pretty well. I tried it out and um, it's actually very comfortable because this back part is flat. And there is a little bit of a paper residue. We can actually wash this since it's plastic and take off that paper. And here on the front, I think it's really, really cool that Rina Ridge's mask is two-toned. So we have the orange on top, the white on the bottom, of course the two eyebrows, and I lined the eyes a little bit. So I think it turned out really, really nice. And of course, we also have Ladybug's mask. So which one do you like better? Do you like Ladybug's mask or do you like Rina Ridge's mask? Let me know down below in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have another 3D pen project. 
I recently made two masks for Miraculous Ladybug. This one is for Ladybug in black and red. And this one in orange, white, and black is for Rena Rouge. Have you seen the videos for these two? They were so much fun to make. So I thought today we would continue the set and make the one for Queen Bee. So over here I have Queen Bee's mask. I drew it out using paper and pencil and taped it over this little sphere here. This sphere will help make the mask uh, curved so that you can put it over your face. So this is the final product and so we're going to add to our collection. Over here I have my 3D pen and of course filaments. And all we need today is black and yellow for Queen Bee's mask. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started! All right, and we are done. So let's peel this off, our little sphere here. And then let's also take away the backing. So here is the paper. I'm just going to rip it off. All right, everyone, so we are done. Take a look, isn't this cool? So we have the yellow up here, and we also have the yellow around the eyes. And on the inside, I lined it with some black. So this turned out really, really cool. It was really fast to make too. So which one do you like best? Do you like Queen Bees? Do you like Rena Rouge's mask? Or do you like Ladybugs? And I think we're also missing another one, uh, which is going to be Cat Noir. So make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you'll know when I make Cat Noir's mask. Welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing another 3D pen project for Miraculous Ladybug. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I recently made three masks featuring Ladybug, Greener Rouge, and Queen Bee. So I made their masks using 3D pen and I thought we needed to complete the collection by adding, of course, Cat Noir's mask. So today we are going to be doing Cat Noir's mask. I have my black filament since most of his mask is black and also a little bit of green for around the eyes. So you guys ready? Let's get started!
All right, and here we have it. So we have Cat Noir's mask. Let's go ahead and peel out the backing. All right, everyone, so we are done. So here is Cat Noir's mask. It's all in black with green around the eyes and it's curved so that it would fit nicely around your face. So now we have a nice set. We have Cat Noir, we have Ladybug, we have Queen Bee, and we also have Rena Rouge's masks. So which one is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comment section and we'll see you next time. Bye!